Hello everyone, welcome to Stardew Valley. This is the first episode in this series. I'm probably going to do quite a long series of this game, um, depending on how much I'm liking it. Uh, reminds me a lot of Harvest Moon. I used to play uh, those games way more than I should have when I was little. Uh, I played a bit of this so far to kind of get a feel for it and see what I was getting into. I won't lie to you, I spent most of the time fishing for some reason because that was fun. Um, there seems to be a present in my house. Uh, parsnip seeds. Okay, well, we'll probably go ahead and plant those shortly. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. So thoughtful. Well, that's a big old mess. Don't even know where to start with this. Maybe hiring a landscaper? Am I using the wrong controls? Nope, here we go. I was playing with a keyboard before. Playing with a controller now, it's a little bit different. Just clean up the yard a bit. Gotta keep it clean. Weeds, can we cut that down? No, we need the axe. Whoops, didn't mean to dig a little hole there. That's alright. Maybe that's where I can plant some seeds. Go and get those. I think at the start here, I'm supposed to go and talk to the townspeople and introduce myself. Um, but we'll get to that. They can wait. They're not going anywhere, neither am I. Kind of stuck with me for better or worse. Cut down that innocent sapling. Then hammer time. Is this a hammer or no? Oh, it's the hoe. Is that the hammer? What's the hammer? Oh, a pick. There is no hammer. It's been years since I played Harvest Moon, but I'm still thinking it's the same game with the same tools. Yeah, crush those rocks. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and how do you throw them in there? Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the other controls. This one's are now working for me. Now I can't remember how to use these controls either. Oh. A little bit of sap, stone, coal, yeah. We can sell that all. Or someone can come and dispose of it anyway. It's all the same to me. I'll go pick some pretty flowers to give to the lovely townspeople. What's the button? Oh, it's a point and click, I remember now. Yes, it's all coming back to me. It was very late when I played, having trouble remembering the buttons. So, hey little birds. Very quaint little town. Start here at the doctor's office. Not open yet. Okay, it's a right click. Straight to the back. See if we got anything we can steal in here. Sample jar. Better not put fingers in there. Well, that's not very adventurous. If it was up to me, I'd definitely put them in there. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, a local doctor. Well, that's very interesting, Harvey. Is this your diploma? Don't care. How do I know you're a real doctor? I guess it doesn't matter when there's only 10 people in your town. It really just doesn't matter. Question mark. What's going on? Lots of birthdays this month. I won't remember any of them. Guess we should probably go in there. I think that's the store. Yes, that's the store. Hey, who's this? Abigail. Nice purple hair. Hi, 
Marnie. Nice to meet you. Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Mumps, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. Yes, I could tell that by the way you stand behind the counter in the local general store. Seeds. Well, we'll perhaps buy some seeds tomorrow once I sell some stuff and have some money. Right now, I am broke. 2,000 gold for a bigger backpack. You know what, maybe... Would you like some flowers? You brought me a present? Thanks. Well, that was easy. Me and her got a thing going on now. It's no big deal. Eat the dandelion. Yes, I would like to eat the dandelion. Because <laughs> that's what normal people, normal functioning people do is eat dandelions. For those of you that don't know, they actually have quite a bitter taste to them. They do not taste nearly as delicious as they look. Leah. Well, Leah, have a flower. I stole it just for you. Oh, she's all about the flowers. I'll have to remember that. But when I want, when I want to have little farm children. Huh, cool. Yeah, it is. It's real cool. Don't you forget it. I've always thought it'd be a lot of fun to have a TV just in the middle of a room on the floor. And these people are living that for me. I guess he is in a wheelchair though, so it kind of makes sense. He can sit there kind of eye level with it and peer into it. George, by the way, now buzz off. Oh, I should have saved a flower for George. Clearly he needs it more than everyone. Maybe if I ask nicely, I can get the flower back from... Um, I can't remember the names already. One of them people. Dog. Let's just can't pick that up. Dog. Just dog. Salute. Oh, uh, we'll talk to this lady first. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I would not like that, no. Seeing as I don't know you. Oh, that's a lovely bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Miss Bump. Georgia. Pool table. What's this? Can I steal it? No? It had the icon there, like I could I could interact or steal it. No such luck. Is a cacti. Cactus. I believe cacti is plural. Correct me if I'm wrong. I often am Gus. Chef and owner of Okay. Thanks, Gus. I'll perhaps bring him a dandelion tomorrow. He seems like the type that would enjoy a good dandelion. So, we'll go... There's a flower there. Let's go ahead and pick that one up. Mm, that gentleman probably won't miss it anyway. Seems to be a little bit dead. Oh, hey beautiful. Would you like a flower? Oh, it's Elliot and a dude. I'm not a huge fan of this. But it's not that he didn't like it. He's just not a huge fan. Oyster. Okay. We'll go ahead and sell that to the highest bidder. Who doesn't like good oysters? Now, last time I got a fishing rod from a gentleman somewhere here. Back tomorrow. Yeah, I think it was on the second day, actually, you get a note or something from him. And then you can go get a fishing rod and spend all your time fishing as I did. He really looks like a girl. Very confusing. A little bit alarming. Is this a girl? What are you? She's been looking forward to meeting me. Well, you know what? You can have an oyster. Oh, that's for me. Let's put it over here. Oh, I guess she liked it then. All right. Got a little child here, wandering alone in the woods with a man in a suit watching him from a distance. Nothing suspicious here. 
not to talk to strangers. Well, there's one following you amongst the trees over here. Hello, Mr. Pedophile. How are you? Harvey. Yes. And he does medical checkups and procedures. Well, that's definitely a pedophile. Bend over and cough, little boy. Not sure what to make of him or this game yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna go forage around for some stuff. See what I can sell. Then I'll pick up some seeds and start farming tomorrow. Though it does look like a lot of fun to jump in here. Reminds me of the old Zelda games. Cutting down the bushes and looking for treasure inside. Well, that was exciting. Fiber. Guess I'll be staying very regular for the duration of this game with all that fiber. There's something very enjoyable about these games. Just so simple and peaceful. Probably spent 400 hours playing this. I think there was a path. Well, let's sell some stuff first. In there. I think if we go up this way, there's some more stuff I can forage for and steal. Stuff to sell. Pick. Yeah, there was a mine too that I think I could probably mine at some point. Maybe once I get a better pick or something. Mining was a big part of the old Harvest Moon games. You can mine for ore and create fun new stuff. So we'll see if that ever happens. Or if I get too distracted and forget all about it. Getting started. Yep, that's all very good. I think I've got it from here. Instructions are for the week. I don't think I made it this far before. Oh, it's getting late already though. <laughs> no fire for you. Hey, Santa. Linus. A stranger, hello. Yep, nice little pacey guy here. I'm glad I just wandered on in and walked all over your shit. After putting your fire out. Well, that was exciting. Is this mm -hmm. a pineapple? Wild horseradish. Well, I better get back and go to bed. Before the pedophile finds me out here by myself. Whose name I have also forgotten. And I might have gotten myself lost. No, nope, I think I know where I am. Keep heading west. I will get back and get a good night's sleep. And then I can wander out and start my farm tomorrow. Is it this way? Or? Yeah. My impeccable sex of sense of direction never leads me astray. I wonder if you can build greenhouses like you could in Harvest Moon. Plant your crops all year round, barns for animals. It's all a lot of fun. Yes, I would like to go to sleep for the night. Foraging, 62, 147, 224 gold. Well, we're not rich yet, but we're getting there. There is a rooster nearby. Oh, direct deposit, that's handy. Let's Make a little spot here for farming in no place in particular because who wants to give thought to anything the most efficient way used to be i think is just a grid of nine like that you plant the whole area and we'll go for that it's hard you can't harvest the middle one maybe in this one you can though we'll try it because you could get close enough to it i always had an army of slave elves though and they did my bidding for me so, hopefully this game incorporates slavery and then I won't have to worry about this tedious farming stuff. Okay, 
so we'll go ahead and cut a path down to the bottom of our little farm. And maybe do a circle towards the store and get some better seeds. And then start a big old farm. Because the point of this game really is just get rich. And have a big house with all sorts of possessions. And I like that. When I was playing before, sometimes it was a... Uh, like... A gypsy might be the best term for it. The park's right here and you can buy strange stuff from. I guess she's only here once in a while. So we'll keep an eye out for her. But she's not here now. So we'll keep on foraging. Birds. Oh. Hey, cows! How you doing? You guys look like you're having fun? Well, alright, talk to you later. Can we go through people's garbage? No, not so much. Um, I already forgot what I was going to do. Oh, well, we'll go see the fishermen, try and get us a fishing rod. And then we'll go we'll buy some expensive seeds and plant. Romantic cutscene ahead. Spoiler alert. Willy. Ahoy there, son. Cue the stereotype. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. All he needs is a peg leg and he would just fit the bill entirely. Okay, we'll go ahead and skip this. I don't really... I don't really care why or how he has the rod. I just, I just want his rod. Sometimes you just need the sailor's rod. Mm, inventory. So we'll, we'll get rid of the fiber though. How do we? Put that in the garbage can I carry with me, and we'll take that with us. And maybe I'll give this to someone, like this little boy. Oh, at least the pedophile is leaving him alone, finally. Lost in the graveyard. Come here. <laughs> the most respectful thing you can do as a graveyard is dig it up. I wonder if there's any random treasure you can find in this game digging around. I bet there is. Probably buried in a graveyard. Well, we'll find it later. I don't think I've talked to the blue haired lady yet. Hello, Miss Blue Hair. Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Wink. Well, she sounds like a lot of fun. I'll maybe bring her a present. Now, where was the store? Right there. Wander on in. Hello, store. Yes, I would like some bean starter. Producing after that eats almost. Grows on a trellis. Well, I don't have a trellis. Cauliflower seeds, kale seeds. Grass starter. Why would I want grass? It grows everywhere for free. Vinegar, wallpaper, flooring, cherry, sapling. Oh, I can go trees too. That's new. We will go with kale. That way I can make delicious, healthy juices and shakes. Put that there. Now, how do I go this walk away? Okay, how many did I buy? Seven. That's not enough. Off we go, let's go plant our kale. Well, I'm not moving, so you get out of the way. Do 
This <laughs> is what we call a stalemate. Well, look at them all pile in. Oh, yeah. Just walk right over me then. I don't care. Robin. Hi, Robin. Nice to meet you. Your head looks like a cinnamon bun. Now get out of the door. Busy place. Fuck me. I wish I could run a little bit faster. Burns a lot of time just strolling around so leisurely. This guy needs a, a sense of urgency in his life. Little mumps. It's not a bad name for a farmer, mumps. Just seems right. Whoops, I didn't want to. Whatever. Just practicing with my hoe. There, all tailed up. Maybe get some water. There we go. Thirsty little seeds are all watered up. Maybe that's mail. Let's water the mailbox. So it'll go into a big strong mail tree one day. Just got back from okay, I already went to see Willie. I went to see Willie's rod. What a nice rod it was. I don't want any more price of seeds. We can sell those. And fishing time. Easy. 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 I wonder how fish would get into such a little pond. Sunfish! Yay! Sunfish! End of end. It's probably worth a few dollars. Fuck you, Mother Nature. Go the way. Go the way. Get you out of the way. We'll go do a little bit of foraging before we call it a day. And make efficient use of our time. We have so very little of it. I feel like the music's really loud in contrast to my voice. I'll have to watch the playback and double check that. I feel like you could blow that open or mine it or something. That's the crazy hobo. Um, I hear something I can forage. What's that? A leak. Very exciting. Oh, it's ore. It's gems. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just keep hitting it. We'll meet in the middle. It'll be very romantic. Alright, we'll work on that later. He's clearly not ready to meet me. Another leak. A couple leaks a day does the body good. Island to nowhere. Oh, it looks like a good spot to cast my rod. Nailed it! I'm such a good fisherman. Oh, it's a tricky fish. Well, this is easy. Stupid fish. Chub! <laughs> good news, everyone, I have a chub. 13 inches. Jealous? Speaking of 13 inch chub, here's the local black guy. Hello friend. Local scientist and father, thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome. Hey, would you like my chub? That was very thoughtful of you. He loves my chub. 18 inches of it. It gets bigger every time I talk about it. Um, let's see if there's anything on the beach worth picking up. It's 4.50. I don't have a lot of time. 
trailer. Do we still the bottle? Is that alcohol? Bottle of gin. Wow, this place definitely looks different from the inside than it does the outside. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to be better friends with Penny then, because I do want to go in her bedroom. And I want to water her little plant there. Seeing as that's kind of what I do, I am an expert. Not a very successful foraging day. I think smashing rocks can give me cold though, so I'll just go smash rocks for a while. And hopefully get something worth selling. First, we'll sell rocks and wood and grass. We'll move that over here. there. I don't know how to. Yeah, we want to fish in the box. Very good. Um, nope, that one. Rock. It's my version of hitting the gym. Yeah, pump that iron. Breaking rocks. A geode? That's neat. You received a stone. Just what I always wanted. Thank you, game. A stone. What's what's this? Oh. It's just grass. Nothing to get excited about, folks. You, oh yeah, that's right, I have energy down there, so. That means it's time to call it a day, or to eat something. I wonder if eating a geode would give you energy. Probably not. Okay. A blacksmith can break that open for you. Well, we have something to look forward to tomorrow. It's full of goodness. Maybe the Lorax is in there. He can yell at me for cutting down my farm. did look like truffula trees. Okay, well, that's where we're going to end this episode. On the next one, we'll have a geode to look forward to. The blacksmith can break it open. So if you like this video, feel free to like it or subscribe to this channel or whatever. Thanks for watching.